good. Hey everybody, this is Kevin Potter. Um, so my wife, I made this ring for her maybe 15 years ago, and she wears it a lot. And a diamond fell out, and uh, so she insisted that I fix it. So I'm going to make a video on how to put a little tiny diamond back in the channel, and then retighten these, and then I'll re-mill grain it if I can find my mill grain tool. So anyway, you fish around in your little pile of diamonds. Everybody's every jeweler I know has got a little pile of stones, and you try to find the right one. So, and whenever here's a little tip: when you're picking up diamonds, put them table down, grab them with the tweezers, flip. You'll look like a pro, especially if you're at a gem show. You can always tell the pros from the amateurs. They'll be fuddling around with the tweezers. So. Since I can't see anything anymore, I have to use my Optivisor. My son used to call them sea biggers. He took them one day and I couldn't find them. And I kept complaining, where are they? Oh, see, I just dropped my diamond down in the hole. So you shake it out again. This time, I'm going to use my thumb, or actually my finger, kind of press it into the top. And then you're going to, all right, it's setting up on the top. I don't know if you guys can see it. And you want them to snap in place. So, use a brass pusher to do that. Oh, it's kind of small. Can you believe I didn't get the right one on the first try? Alright, so you fish around in the little thing. That I, there we go. Maybe this is the stone. Oh, this looks really promising. Well, that's it. That is the stone. Oh, there we go. It fell right in place. Brass pusher. With any luck, I won't crack it. Hard to tell. There it is. And you never want to run this brass pusher through your finger, it'll hurt. Okay. I think it looks pretty good. And you grab all your other little diamonds, put them back in the thing. I like to use a hammer hand piece. Now when you're using a hammer hand piece, you can send diamonds flying if you're not careful. So you kind of creep up on it. I'm going to go from this side because that's the side where my diamond was a little high. And you don't want to... Uh, you can break your diamonds pretty good with this thing, so you got to be careful. Notice I'm not flooring it. We're keeping the speed under control. I'll probably this. I haven't touched this ring in at least 15 years, so I probably will go over this whole thing to make sure everything's tight again. Usually it's not a surprise if you, but when you're tightening stones up, to see other stones fall out. But uh, now it doesn't look like it's got a missing tooth anymore. So there it is. Thanks for watching.